8-14 and the stage is set for the fourth and what could be the final Republican debate before the Iowa caucuses take place next month. And PIX11 is your election headquarters and we're giving you a preview of what you can expect tomorrow night. And we're checking in this morning with News Nation's chief Washington correspondent, Blake Berman, who is live at the University of Alabama where the debate will take place. So good morning to you, Blake. Good morning. Good morning. How's it going? Good, good. So, so obviously this is the smallest group so far in this debate, no less fiery though, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about who will yep. be facing off tomorrow night. <laughs> Yeah, so this is uh, the News Nation debate uh, tomorrow night, 8 o'clock uh, Eastern on News Nation. Uh, Ron DeSantis, Nikki Haley, Chris Christie, Vivek Ramaswamy. Those are going to be the four up on the stage here in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. This is, um, look, it is one of the last chances for these candidates to try to start closing the gap with Donald Trump, right? That's what they've been attempting to do over the last, call it, four, five, six months, maybe longer than that. And, you know, we, we had some polling out just yesterday that shows th the grip that Donald Trump still has um, in the Republican primary, and I guess you could say over the Republican Party as well, because he is some 50 points clear of these candidates. Hmm. Um, so when you look at uh, Dan and Hazel going forward, what tomorrow night means for these candidates, they got to go. It, it, it's go time for them because, you know, after this debate on Wednesday night, there's... There's a couple weeks for them to hit the trail, let's face it. Then it's the holidays, it's the New Year's. A lot of folks are, you know, back home doing their thing. And then the clock turns, uh, the calendar turns to January, and bang, it's on. Iowa, New Hampshire, and the early primary states. So it, it, it is going to be consequential yeah. for them. And, and one of their last best shots uh, on Wednesday night to, to try to get some traction. Yeah, certainly. And you're talking about the numbers here, Blake, right? And, and there are no signs of Donald Trump, at least for this debate. But let's just show everybody the numbers. The latest News Nation Decision Desk HQ poll shows that Donald Trump has nearly 60% of the vote. His closest is Ron DeSantis in second with 11% yep. followed by Nikki Haley, 10%, Vivek at 6%, right? So it doesn't seem like the other debates have really swung the needle yeah. in any of the other candidates' favors. So with less candidates on the stage, more time for the issues, what are you looking to do to maybe close that gap? What do they need to do? Well, I would say that th these debates have been really good for Nikki Haley, right? I mean, she has now consistently been uh, in double digits for the last couple months or so. And, and I would say the reason for that has been uh, these debates. For, for Nikki Haley, though, you got to move from, from 10, a dozen, whatever you want to call it, somewhere in that range, to 20-something, right? Mm -hmm. um, and, and for her, when, when you look at Iowa, just to dig into the numbers for a second, when you caucus in Iowa, there's a 15% threshold, mm. right? So you have to hit 15% or else caucus goers, their votes go, go to someone else. Right. So if, if one of those other candidates can't sort of crack through, then if you're if you're Nikki Haley, if you're Ron DeSantis, maybe that's how you move into the 20s or into the 30s in a state, let's say, like Iowa. But but for right now, at least their goal is to take that 10 percent number yeah. and, and try to get it to, let's just say, 18, 19, 20 yeah. and, and move on from there. Now you talk about Nikki Haley doing well. Do you think she has a target on her back then this time around? You know, I, I thought she had a target on her back the last uh, mm -hmm. the last couple of debates. I mean, you, you'll remember Vivek Ramaswamy in the last one went at yeah. her, name checked her her twenty something year old daughter, and Nikki Haley basically said, "Keep my family out of your mouth. You're mm -hmm. scum." Uh, we we asked on the Hill on News Nation. We we spoke with Vivek Ramaswamy yesterday about that, uh, and I and I asked him. I said, "Are you going to go after Nikki Haley? Are you going to confront that mm. uh, with her?" And you know, he went. <laughs> directly say yes, but I, I would think there might be a round two uh, between those two. Yeah, it's, it's certainly, I mean, in all the debates, I'm sure this one as well, there will be some fiery moments and memorable moments for sure. How much does Donald Trump, former President Donald Trump, play a factor into the line of questioning and the amount of times he's referenced on the stage at this point in the game? At some point, you got to go after Donald Trump, right? I mean, you see the numbers, I see the numbers, we all see the numbers. And for these candidates, Nikki Haley has been more willing to, to lean into going after Donald mm -hmm. Trump. Ron DeSantis has started to do it as well. Chris Christie has staked his entire campaign right. on going after Donald Trump. Vivek Ramaswamy is the complete opposite. When I spoke with him yesterday, uh, he said, look, you know, the America First agenda 
which is the Trump agenda, is sort of what I stand for as well. So don't expect him to, to go after Donald Trump. But, you know, at, at some point, you would think that they would really start to, to amp up the attacks because this is a business in which second place gets you nothing unless mm -hmm. you're looking for a cabinet post. Nikki Haley's been there, done that. Not sure that's her goal. Ron DeSantis is a sitting governor. Chris Christie, there's no shot. And Vivek Ramaswamy is worth several hundreds of millions of dollars. Would he take a cabinet spot? I don't, I don't know. Mm. All right, I guess we got to pop the popcorn, right? Yeah. It's going to be an interesting one. All right, Blake Berman, thanks again for your insight this morning. Appreciate <laughs> it. Yeah. And you can watch tomorrow night's Republican presidential debate, everybody, right here on PIX11, our hour-long special debate night in America kicking off at 7 p.m. All right, I'll be hosting it alongside Shirley Chan with live reports from Alabama, the early voting states of Iowa, which we just talked about, New Hampshire, Nevada, and South Carolina. Then at 8 o'clock, it's the two-hour debate itself, hosted by News Nation and the CW and moderated by Elizabeth Vargas and Megyn Kelly, followed by a special debate coverage right afterwards as part of the PIX11 News at 10.